I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and a lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Punish Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Venus, the planet that rules Taurus and Libra, the planet that resembles happiness, peace, you know, serene environment, the planet that defines luxury, talent, something that is defining beauty, art and craft, singing, dancing, music, almost everything that makes living in this realm worthwhile, that Venus is stepping into its sign of exaltation. And this is a very beautiful explanation. This is a very beautiful experience of Venus in, in the sign of Pisces. Why? Because Pisces is a zodiac where once Venus crosses that Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, it quits being the Daitya Guru Shukracharya. This is my understanding. Venus coming into Pisces is more about Venus invoking the quality talent, Venus giving you this in-depth desire, it exalts your emotions and makes you more connected to Mahalakshmi, which is the Shakti of Mahavishnu, the power to sustain, the power to exist, the power to live. It's a very different expression of Venus. It's the feet of Maha, Maha Lakshmi and Mahavishnu. This is the kind of an experience where you surrender to the divine and you are no longer connected to the Maya, but you live in this Maya and you enjoy all the illusions of Maya, just like you will enjoy Apple Vision Pro, you will enjoy all the games, but you know the difference that that's not the real world that you see. That's an artificially created world, but you still enjoy, right? That difference is Venus in Pisces. Venus in Pisces also gives you advantage uh, where you can earn more money. Countries who are ruled by Venus, people who are ruled, dominated by Venus will see boost, financial boost, they will enjoy their life. But don't forget that there is Rahu present in the sign of Pisces. And not only that, Venus is kind of in Papkartari because what is behind Venus? Behind Venus, there is Saturn and Mars in the sign of Aquarius. That means Venus is kind of hemmed between all four strong planets, Saturn, Mars, Rahu and Sun. In fact, on 8th of April, Venus is going to see eclipse, eclipse which is happening in the sign of Pisces. What does this mean? This means on one hand, exalted Venus is, is giving you a lot of peace, happiness, uh, you know, joy, joy in little things. But the radical approach of Rahu, Sun, the, the boundary that has been assigned to Venus is very, it's like a ring of fire. It's like you are meditating, you are very calm, but there is a ring of fire surrounding you. So how will you interpret this? See, as long as you are within that boundary, you are okay. If you are in the center, that means if you have centered yourself, you know exactly what you are doing. You will be in the sweet spot. The moment you try to come closer to the fire, thinking you are the master, thinking you are the genius and you will be able to jump, you will be burnt. Because maybe that fire is to protect you from the demons that are outside the fire. So this is not your prison. This is your safety net. So think Venus like that. Think that Venus is kind of creating that safety net for you. And remember, this journey of Venus is also making Jupiter come closer to Taurus. Now for the next 25 days, Venus existence in the exaltation sign means that you will grow your talent. So work on your talent, work on your good points. See what good can you think about yourself. Focus on affirmations. Pray to Maha Mahalakshmi. Avoid black, dark colors and try to wear more brighter colors. Try to bring more colors around you, floral connections around you. Use more of silver. Use more of crystals. Rose quartz crystal is a very good crystal to meditate and keep it with yourself during this time. An exalted Venus uh, also shows that there will be radical changes in your career, especially people connected with media, filmmaking, who are artists, who are celebrities, who are into space of digital media, who opens a salon, who owns spa, who opens healing therapies, 
who works in essential oil who works in the field of occult astrology tarot vastu design making uh, if you are an, if you are an architect all this is going to get the positive influence of this exalted venus which means your career will grow but rahu can bring lot of distractions and these distractions are something which you should protect yourself from the only way you can do that is meditate repeatedly warn yourself about the danger of crossing the boundary but while within you are that in that boundary transcend yourself to a higher dimension so that the boundary and the fire don't impact you at all that means first of all you have to grow yourself that big and then you have to be bigger than the demons and then you can win but meanwhile venus is trying to create a safe space for you being that safe space meditate and chant Shri Suktam or simply say Om Shri Mahalakshmi Namah Let's understand for each ascendant what this Venus has to offer please subscribe to my channel share the video among family and friends your subscription really matters and for consultations you can drop me an email the email id is in the description box and it is on the uh, on the screen also you can call me on the numbers which are on the screen If you want to follow me on Instagram for reels and other interesting stuff you can follow me there join me on Patreon and we will travel deeper into the world of Vedic astrology let's start ascendant wise analysis Aries ascendant for Aries Venus rules your happiness your family your marriage your business your finances so Venus is business critical for you It's a very important planet for you. When it goes in the twelfth house, it gives gives you a chance to explore the world, expand your horizon, and be somebody that you have never been. It gives you a chance to find your life partner from a different country, coming out of the uh, you know the, the the boundaries of life. An exalted Venus in the twelfth house also indicates that you are more focused towards expenses. You are more focused towards. running a business but also burning cash be mindful when you are spending money because there will be a chance that you will end up overspending maybe on luxury maybe on buying things that you don't need you can be a hoarder during this time rather donate stuff give away that you don't need reduce your footprint reduce your expenses use less of digital space but use it for the right purpose focus more on disciplining your life because see on one hand venus is in the 12th house which is good for exploring international career but then there is a saturn and mars in the 11th house showing that uh venus will give you hope that by spending or by traveling or by moving out or by leaving your place you will win but gains will come from 11th house where there are there are saturn and mars so it shows that keep on putting your effort but be very practical and grounded don't be lured by something which is very fancy now new marriages are possible you may go for a destination wedding during this time you may experience uh, visits to places that you have always dreamt of these are the positive effect of venus if you are connected to healing if you have an ayurvedic uh, spa or if you are connected to hospitals ayurvedic hospitals essential oils all that will see great boost during this time because this venus wants you to recover but to recover you need to go to a place of recovery it won't happen at home so if you are if you want to do meditation go to a meditation center if you want to do recovery maybe connect to an ayurvedic center if you want to do yoga go to a therapist go to a yoga if you want to talk to an to you, you know you want to do something get out of your house but when you are spending you should calculate know everything that you are doing don't spend in luxury and this is the time when new deals might happen but again as i say when something is happening and something is happening very smoothly enjoy but do try to see why everything is so smooth something is fishy always keep your ears and eyes open and if the moment you catch catch a red flag work on it immediately don't postpone it Taurus what a beautiful time for you 
your ascendant lord going in the 11th house and getting exalt is a beautiful expression this is the time when your uh, when you you as a person will become very popular your aura will be radiating the positive energy the positive vibe that you bring will make you the center of attraction this is a time when things are really really happy and uh, you have the presence of network circle that supports you that praises you you will come across victorious and you will also your wishes will also be fulfilled this can create new romantic adventures new romantic lifestyle venus aspect on the 5th house gives you a great edge in the field of advertising digital marketing and communication 11th house is also your network circle so you will meet new people you will hang out party and enjoy everything is fine but you have to understand that venus is also your 6th lord so there is certain duties and responsibilities that also you will have to fulfill see rahu can create an illusion it can create an illusion of wealth say you take a bank loan it's an illusion of wealth the money may be reflected in your account but that's not your money you will have to repay not only repay the principal but also the interest so what is making you feel good what is making you rich what is making you feel connected to different aspects of life that is more important where is the source is it coming from ascendant that means your it's an inbuilt thing it's coming from within or it's coming from 6th house if you know this difference you will get maximum during the venus exaltation say during uh, romantic adventures you will have to be very careful when you are falling in love when you are getting attracted towards someone are you crossing any boundary are you married and you are going into an extramarital affair then this will turn out to be a very bad experience however pleasant and beautiful it may sound right now utilize this venus rahu and sun conjunction in the sign of pisces to gain technological insights use more technology if you really want to create a social media digital media presence it is the time this is also the time to follow your passion so if you really want to follow your passion in the most disciplined manner you can try that out for students there will be a lot of distractions so you need to be careful that you you are not distracted because amount of uh, the stuff that is going on throughout the world can easily create uh, problems in your studies so be careful there and avoid alcohol enjoy your life but enjoying your life does not mean substance abuse avoid that try to live a sober healthy and happy life and venus will help you do the same remember if you use this venus for positive experience jupiter coming on your ascendant will bless you with enormous amount of positivity sattva and the good energies otherwise this venus can help you go into the tamas but jupiter won't help you when it comes in the first house gemini now in case of gemini venus comes in your 10th house this is an exalted venus coming in the 10th house raising your reputation giving you success chance of promotion you will become more you will be be like a celebrity at your workplace and if your career is into media into acting or any such related field especially if you are into modeling this is going to be an exceptional time for your success endeavors taken during this time projects taken during this time will give you very good success just ensure that you have to read behind the lines between the lines you have to read behind what is obvious you will have to read every single statement of the clause of the contract venus exaltation in 10th house is really good for people who want to work in mncs who want to go abroad or who work in export and import of goods and services after all it's your 12th lord getting exalt which also means that you may have to overspend at your workplace maybe offering a party but don't pay for work like there are a lot of people who can get into trap where you have to pay to get a job i'm not sure whether they are right or wrong i'm not claiming that but this can lure you into kind of certain frauds so be aware of that also fifth lord is exalt which means you are going to get the blessings of your hard work couples who are looking for childbirth your blessings will be heard during this time now this is a very pleasant time because this venus kind of heals the ketu's presence in the fourth house but your attention will be more towards your work 
you will find that spending time in your office gives you more relief than spending time at your home so do the opposite create a little bit of small workspace in your office with proper lights proper colors and everything spend time there also in that way you can manage your house energies very well sun rahu's presence in the 10th house may also show that somebody is jealous of your success jealous with your uh, growth your rapid success your name fame and this can create controversy so stay away from any word anything any activity that you know can create certain amount of controversy don't assume that everything will be all right everything will be all right as long as you are alert aware and taking necessary precautionary steps but overall if i say that this is going to be a transit where you might also have to endure work related trips travels you will not only work but you will also enjoy so overall it's a very very good time for you kark rashi cancer ascendant and moon sign now for you venus is going to be in the 9th house it's such a brilliant and happy transit your fourth lord getting exalt means you will be very happy you will also travel a lot and uh, you might find yourself going on an international trip even going on a pilgrimage going to any devi sthan visiting mandir of ma bhagavati going to kamakhya are some of the ways by which you can increase the potency the positive side of the shukra an exalted venus in 9th house shows that luck will favor you and you will win in difficult matters of life it shows that new relationship will come and through your own network circle and relationship and some being long distant your destiny will change you might meet a potential life partner through a long distance relationship through a digital medium such as dating apps or even marriage apps but you will have to be careful because rahu in the 9th house do not play a very good role just ensure that you are not following the path of adharma or you are taking any shortcut measure to get success this venus is uh, getting the qualities of the 11th house so this is a wish fulfilling transit it's a transit when most of your wishes will be fulfilled but the bad ones may also get fulfilled and that can act as a punishment so be very careful what you are asking also show some kindness show some positive uh, attitude towards poor people uh, towards someone who is deprived someone who needs an exalted venus shows your character as a good human being ninth house shows dharma so praying to shri sukta doing havan of ma mahalakshmi or praying to ma mahakali because of the venus and rahu energies it will help you a lot during this time this is more like a happy go lucky transit just ensure that while you are in your ecstatic state a happy state of mind don't take any decisions without uh, checking things without understanding the subject i know you are very happy and in happiness people tend to forget that there are challenges ahead so in that case you must be aware enjoy your life have a great time with this venus exaltation but also stay alert about all the negative forces that are running around you and uh, it's a great time for career change because your 11th lord is getting exalted salary promotion gain of business new opportunities new project new deals all is possible and this kind of cancels lot of negative effect of saturn and mars in the 8th house but only and only if you use the devia quality the divine quality of the exalted venus if you become greedy over materialistic if you are fighting for something which is material then the the venus venus energies will collapse and saturn and mars will start bringing in negative changes so be mindful of that and you are all set leo ascendant in case of leo venus transit will happen in your 8th house now observe that venus is your career lord venus is your third lord and by being the career and the lord of will power when it goes in the 8th house it shows major transformation it shows that you are going to bring major changes you are going to initiate lot of positive changes 
a good time to rework on your financial design, on your investments, on your securities, on your insurance policies. Also, 8th house uh, shows unexpected ups and downs. So it kind of buffers that. This is an exalt Venus. But this also Venus can create some financial frauds and traps. So be very careful, especially while you are using technology and you are mixing finance with it. 8th house Venus can bring in new life force. Chanting Mahamrutunjay Mantra can be really helpful if you are unwell, if you are fighting any disease or if you want to recover. Mantra Shakti, Mantra Chikitsa, that means healing through mantras, healing through sound and vibration can be really helpful while Venus falls in the 8th house. This kind of gives you a kind of a, a happy environment. Even in the most difficult of challenges, you will win easily. So this kind of gives you victory over enemies, victory over negative energies, victory over negative things. This increases the occult energy, so you will be more focused towards Siddhis, more focused towards uh, these kind of uh, Tantra, Sadhana. Now Saturn Mars will be in the 8th house. Now Saturn Mars are very close in the 7th house. An exalted Venus in the 8th house kind of uh, gives you a buffer but not for a very long time. Say you, go, you are going into a kind of an argument in your relationship, marriage, business, partnership. This Venus will give you an opportunity to you know, make things better and by good talking, by infusing more money, by bringing an investor, you can save things. But this doesn't make anything sweeter. So like you're making tea, right? You can only add sugar up to a certain point beyond which the tree itself becomes, the tea itself becomes, un in you can't consume that tea because of too much of sweetness. Similarly, uh, Venus in the 8th house does not mean that you can add too much of sweetness. You should know the limit and you, you may have to apply a different tactics. Take great care of your health, of your lifestyle because that might get affected severely during this time. Also, there can be challenges with your sisters, with your siblings and there can be inheritance related issues. So be watchful there. Virgo. In case of Virgo, Venus comes as a beautiful charm. Exaltation of Venus in the seventh house shows that you will be happy in your marriage. You will travel with your life partner. You can start a new business venture with your life partner. Exalted Venus in the seventh gives an extra edge. You will be very happy with your success, with the way things are going. But this should not be an assumed success. Have, be happy and celebrate, but do not have a premature celebration. Let the thing happen. Let the success come to you. Once you are done, once everything is finalized and you know there is no returning back, it's an irreversible success, then you celebrate. Venus in the seventh house and Venus being your second lord shows lot of investment will happen in your business. Your wife, your husband, your spouse, your partner will help you invest in your business and you will be able to grow. And it's a very, very beautiful time. It's your ninth lord getting exalted. So this definitely shows that luck is going in your favor. But just don't use gambling. Gambling or trying your luck for success is a very bad idea. See, one thing is luck favoring you. And one thing is you are misusing the luck or you are over exploiting that area of life. Like if you want to win a lottery, it won't happen. That's a that's a really a stroke of luck. But if you want to work hard, make things happen and make things beautiful, it will be a great time. Exaltation of Venus is a beautiful expression. And uh, after the eclipse, after 8th of, uh, of, of April, there is a Navratri, nine days of praying to Ma Durga. Use that time to chant Durga Saptashati. You should also pray to Ma Mahalakshmi by chanting Shri Sukta. Couples who are looking to stabilize marriage will find peace during this time, happiness during this time. You can also finalize marriage. Uh, you might also meet your potential life partner. Starting a new business is also a good idea. Positive and constructive feedback coming from the public, clients, your loved ones, your spouse will help you become a better person. Only if you are being very rude, if you are too rigid, stubborn, then there can be a problem then you will ignore positive comments. Ensure one thing, that somebody is praising you. The question is, is this a real praise or is this, in, in Hindi we have this word called Atishyokti Purna Varnan. 
that means ex exaggerated praise be careful there and uh, sometimes you need to bring the critics closer to you because they uh, are like uh, you know the greatest change that or the greatest energy that can help you prevent big losses because you may assume things in a certain way enjoy the venus but don't forget that there is rahu libra now for libra your ascendant lord is also controlled by venus and this venus goes in your 6th house now for libra there is a unique expression here taurus falls in your 8th house and this venus which is exalted is actually causing a vipreet raj yog and therefore you have to understand that this venus has the tendency to first give you lot of happiness and success and then suddenly pull it all back just to remind you your limitations and what is wrong for you so this venus is more like a proper guru who is here to teach you what is right and wrong correct your lifestyle issues and if you don't focus there it can give you challenges diseases it can give you problems in life health is something that you should focus most and and healing will happen this is an exalt venus by the way and with rahu the healing can happen from energy alternative healing practices you can find uh, uh, an impossible solution at this point of time something that you can't even imagine and that can happen so you can see that this venus is actually very positive but only in the terms of healing don't take lot of debt because this venus shows that in order to prove a point in order to compare or fulfill a fish you can burden yourself in debt there can be lot of credit card usage during this time the another thing is mood swings because your ascendant lord is coming in 6th house it shows that you should be more disciplined you should be more focused towards your prarabdha karma buying stuff that you don't need or buying stuff i'll give an example buying a phone that may be a simple uh, $200 phone will work for you but you go and buy an iphone for $1000 just to prove a point or just to show and just to make yourself feel good is not a great idea so you need to be very functional you need to be very efficient in your spending towards your money and some part of the money should go for charity because 6th house is the house of seva you will also see that you will now start loving animals you will become closer to nature and you will see that uh, you will suddenly a lot of people will suddenly have this affinity toward cats uh people who are animal doctors people who are connected to nature wildlife if you're a wildlife photographer if you're working in an ngo if you're working for welfare of the lower strata of the society this is going to be a brilliant transit but somebody who wants to mint money this may be a little challenging because your health itself can become a big problem so maintain that it's your ascendant lord getting exalted but you have to understand for libra in order to maintain balance you must fulfill your duty before you can become successful scorpio now for scorpio venus rules your 7th house venus rules your 12th house marriage is very much possible or at least finalization of marriage is very much possible when venus will be in the 5th house a 5th house venus along with rahu shows that you will get more success in love marriage finding a suitable life partner for yourself but because there is an eclipse there are also chances of chances of betrayal jealousy and uh, someone trying to betray you someone trying to make false promises so the moment you see a red flag get out of the particular toxic relationship or moment carefully without trying to initiate a fight see venus is a very good planet in 5th house 5th house is actually the natural i will say place for venus venus becomes expressive humorous it gives good luck it gives charm it gives good aura use those parts of exalt venus but don't allow this venus to to get corrupted by the presence of rahu rather if you do any mantra sadhana if you chant the mantra uh, om shri mahalakshmi namah om shri mahalakshmi namah this mantra chanting of om shri mahalakshmi namah will help you cross the boundary 
and spread the message also if you're a life coach if you're a healer if you're into uh, influencer marketing if you are an influencer or celebrity media if you're in filmmaking this is going to be a brilliant time for you you will become famous your success will be all time high and just don't let this success corrupt you all you have to do is remain humble and enjoy the process this kind of also counters the mars and saturn combination from the fifth from the fourth house and handles the mercury retrograde which is crossing the gandanta of pisces and aries which means in, in in fact in whatever situation you are you will feel very happy and satisfied even if there is a struggle or war you will enjoy that but uh, venus can sometime create negative expression of jealousy uncontrolled desire obsession and uh, this can create troubles trouble in relationship you can you can be worried too much you can have thoughts and doubts avoid that through meditation and patience sagittarius for sagittarius venus rules your upachi house 6th and 11th house and that this goes in the 4th house it shows that gain of real estate is possible you can buy new house you can build new asset you can open new office and this is going to be a very good time for you it kind of makes you very much comfortable but sometimes too comfortable to take risks so be watchful of the risk that are involved in your financial decisions you will get support from the network circle you will also be able to heal yourself from any disease that you are suffering just ensure that you are cutting down on sugar and you are consuming no alcohol with venus rahu aspecting the 10th house that shows that you will be very happy with the growth that you get in your career you might open companies related to media journalism uh, something if you are opening a salon if you are opening a beauty parlor if you are opening boutique you know anything creative anything venusian will be very good uh, venus coming exalted in the 4th house means that you will earn from your resources your income will increase but you will reinvest it in your own happiness so this might reduce the savings but will give you a good and comfortable position overall this venus is more positive reducing the negative qualities of life just ensure that you are fulfilling your duties it's sixth lord getting exalted so whenever sixth lord gets exalted you have to first fulfill your core responsibilities take care of your diet and uh, your health of your mother can be a bit of a challenge at this point of time allow venus to cross rahu and you will be in a much better space uh, on the other hand don't get uh, too aggressive towards buying stuff that you don't need towards the luxury uh, renovation of house is possible bring vastu yantra and do vastu remedies at your home that will be a very good thing use brighter colors in your home remove anything that is dark reduce the use of dark colors like dark gray uh, very dark brown black and use more natural colors use more of green and yellow in your house and that will increase that positive vibration buying silver during this time will be a good form of investment and uh, with venus and uh, energies connecting with the fourth house you should be very careful with at what direction you sleep don't sleep with your head pointing to the north and uh, ensure that you are washing your feet before you sleep also keep your shoes outside your house or in a closed cabinet and clean your shoes every day focus more on your good night sleep focus more on the nutrients that your body absorbs if you follow your a good diet you will be healthy and happy capricorn now for capricorn venus goes in the third house now third house is the house of courage and will power and venus and rahu kind of makes you highly creative and this can be a transit where you can take many adventures in your career and also in your romance your fifth lord is in the third house which shows that you will use your expertise your knowledge your experience to craft your life and this is a very beautiful time where will power will be very dominant so if you have that will power if you have the courage and if you can beautifully design don't force your way craft your way you will become successful 
people who are into creative designing, people who use their hands, like if they are our hand models, they are our artists, someone who does creative writing, uh, will be very, very successful during this time. Artists especially. And, and this is also the time where communication skills will improve. So if you're a speaker, if you're a public speaker, if you use your voice and your expression, so if you're an artist, great time for you. Third house is also communication industry. So telecom industry uh, will be more successful during this time. You will find success if you are in the relevant fields. But remember one thing, Venus is also going to experience an eclipse. Venus will see Sun and Rahu. So this can be a jealousy, uh, a feeling of jealousy, a feeling of comparison, a feeling to put someone down, especially if you have an afflicted Venus in your birth chart. Which means you will have to be very careful, avoid from controversies. You may end up overspending on uh, luxury items. You may buy luxury things at the cost of your income, at the cost of your savings, just to prove a point. You may gift your loved ones costly things just to prove that you are best at what you do. This is not how things work. So don't behave materially. Venus in Pisces is not a material Venus. It's no longer Shukrachari. It's the expression of Ma Mahalakshmi. So utilize the money for good cause. Use it to develop a kind of a sentiment where you are more humanitarian in nature. This is a Venus where your effort should be healing to someone. With healing, if you are a healer or if you need healing, this is a great time. Decluttering your life and uh, trying to clean things, mop things with your own hand, clean your house, keep things tidy. This will bring more and more positive energies in your home. It's a beautiful transit. It's a transit that will induce short travels. You will feel this need to, you know, at least your imagination will go around the world. Let it, let it be free, fly, enjoy, but know your limits. Aquarius, for you, it's a Venus exaltation in the second house. This is your ninth Lord getting exalted. This is your fourth Lord getting exalted. It's a transit of comfort. It's a transit of happiness. It's a transit of peace. It's a transit of financial security. It's a transit of family get together. It's a transit of good food. It's a transit where you will enjoy the luxuries of life. So it's a beautiful transit for you. You will see that you will get support from your family members something auspicious or marriage or similar event may happen in your family. You may end up buying a house. You may end up traveling with your family and this may be a very joyful experience. This can be an international travel for certain people. If you are a chef, if you are connected to real estate market, if you are into traveling, if you are, if you are a celebrity, then this is a brilliant time for you. You know, because this not only brings in the much needed financial gains, this kind of secures your life, takes away all the pain and suffering. So for you, it's like a much needed relief because of the Saturn and Mars conjunction that is happening in the first house. In fact, on the day Saturn and Mars comes, Mars comes together, Venus is in a very positive position. So this kind of gives you healing. So if you are in trouble, you know where to look forward to. You should connect with your family. Now for people who are staying alone or who have family related issues, this can be a community acting as a family. This can be your very close friends who are like your family. And this also can be the Guru's ashram, the sadhana that can be your family. Praying to Ma Parvati, chanting Durga Saptashati mantras, or simply praying to Ma Durga, chanting Mahishasur Mardini Stotra, eating right, correcting your food, correcting your habits and your lifestyle will be very good. But because of Rahu, there can be certain illusion. You might assume someone to be a very good friend, turning out to be a not so, not so good friend. You might overspend on eating, you might overeat, you might go for luxuries which you can't afford. Because this Venus is not free. It has the barrier of Rahu. Rahu can exploit the Venus by making you believe that you deserve it, but you really don't deserve it. A patient who is suffering from a certain disease do not deserve alcohol. 
So similarly, you have to understand that there are certain things which you may feel you deserve, but you don't. There's a difference between what you wish you want and what you really need. So focus on more on the need and enjoy what you already have before bringing something new with you. Otherwise, if you do it within limitations, your life is going to be full of enjoyment, luxury, peace, love, harmony and bliss. You can resolve Vastu related issues by, by doing Havan at home, bring Shri Yantra at home and offer your puja to the Shri Yantra. Pisces Now for Pisces Ascendant and Moon sign, Venus will be moving in your first house. This is extremely auspicious because this is the positive change that you were looking for. It's your third lord coming in the first house. It's your eighth lord coming in the first house. So you can see that this Venus is highly occult in nature. This Venus is here to create major transformation fluctuations in your life. And this is a kind of Shukra that gives you relief, that gives you motivation and that gives you power to change. Expect personality change. Expect self-love. Expect your money being spent on yourself. Expect that you will do and take initiatives and take efforts to correct your lifestyle, to correct your, uh, I will say, imagination. It will change the way you think about yourself. It will make you love yourself more and sometimes you will put yourself before anybody else. Now, nothing wrong as long as it is not becoming a selfish motive. Venus in first house, Venus being the 8th Lord is actually quite significant considering that 8th house is the agent of transformation. With Venus and Rahu coming together, this can be new lease of life, new relationship, your initiatives towards new beginnings in your life, which is very good. Career wise, this is going to bring major shift, major change. Just you have to ensure that whatever decision you take, you take after 8th of April. Why? Because there is a solar eclipse. I will make another video for that. After the solar eclipse, major changes will happen. Expect that uh, you, you follow the path of spirituality. Praying to Maha Mahalakshmi will be brilliant at this point of time. And overall, someone who is involved into the business of beauty, designing, uh, gemstones, jewelries, if you are into software, digital marketing, if you are into textile, fashion, anything which involves beauty, which involves feminine energy, creative force, you will become successful in those career. Just avoid jealousy, comparison and greed because greed is what can destroy the Venus exaltation. <laughs>